Aguero right through the middle. Converted in by Vincent Kompany. And it's Silva. And he's got one. It's Pep Guardiola's first trophy in English football. It will go to a penalty shootout. Chelsea nil, Manchester City nil. Jorginho. Oh, and he's missed. Oh, he's hit the post. Sterling scores. Yet more silverware for Manchester City's golden generation. For Manchester City, maybe just another day out. We'll see how the team performs. And Samata has plowed up to Villa back into the contest. That trick in the Carabao Cup for Manchester City. There is another quadruple in their sights. Oh, and it's put away by Merrick Laporte. The Carabao Cup is back in Manchester City hands for a fourth year in a row. Formidable. Pep Guardiola talks about the momentum that winning the League Cup can bring to a side. Ominously, Manchester City are ready to join the party, going for an historic fifth League Cup win in a row. Doing the draw for us for round three. One of them can legitimately touch the cup. Kevin Phillips being there, done that, got the T-shirt. And Kevin Campbell ready to draw those teams. 32 teams make up this draw, 16 ties in total. We commencing the 20th of September. And seven teams that have been in European action join us. Chelsea will be ball number five, Leicester 10, Liverpool 11, Manchester City 12, Manchester United ball number 13, Tottenham Hotspur ball number 24, and West Ham United ball number 26. Gentlemen, are you ready? Kevin Phillips, you will be drawing the home sides. Kevin Campbell, the away sides. The draw then for round three of the Carabao Cup. Give them a good old spin. Yep, I will. Do the honours. Most nervous Who's I've first? ever been. <laughs> Here we go. Don't buy that. Number 18. First out of the hat, ball number 18 then is Queen's Park Rangers. Winners back in 1967. And who will they face? Number seven. And Queen's Park Rangers will take on Everton. They've never won the League Cup twice. Runners up QPR, up against Everton. Number 17. Ball number 17. Preston wins against Mansfield and Morecambe in the Carabao Cup so far. Who will Preston take on? Number six. And Preston will face Cheltenham, their first time in round three. Cheltenham, head to Preston. Number 13. Unlucky for some, Manchester United last winners in 2017. We pulled out a home side for Man United. Who will they face? Number 26. Manchester United will take on West Ham at home. Man United against West Ham. Number 8. Ball number 8 in the draw is Fulham. Top of the championship, unbeaten under Marco Silva. Who will Fulham face? Number nine. Oh, the suspense. They will take <laughs> on Leeds. Fulham mm. against the winners, 1968. Number three. Number three. That's Brentford. Semi-finalists, of course, last season. Thomas Frank's side. Brentford with a home draw. Will play number 16. And Brentford will take on Oldham. Mm. Lowest place team left in it. Bottom of League Two. They went on penalties the number, last two rounds. Sorry, number 25. You will be. <laughs> uh, ball number 25. <laughs> That's Watford. Watford have a home tie. Number 21. And they will take on Stoke. They won it back in 1972. Watford will face Stoke. Number five. Number five, Chelsea. Come into it in this round. Five times winners, of course. Chelsea will take on at Stamford Bridge. Number two. Number two, Aston Villa. Also five-time winners. 
Number 27. Number 27 is Wigan. Runners up from 2006. They've got a home tie this time round. Against number 22. And they will take on all oh, the two Sunderland. So twice runners up. Sunderland head to Wigan. Number 15. Number 15 in the draw is Norwich. 6 0 winners over Bournemouth last night. We'll play number 11. Number 11, Liverpool. Mm. Joint record, eight time winners. Last back in 2012, Liverpool head to Norwich. Number 30. Number 30, 3 0. Decided tonight, Burnley. After that penalty shootout win over Newcastle, Burnley will face. Number 19. 19, Rochdale. Runners up in the second ever League Cup back in 1962. Rochdale will head to Burnley. Number 32. Number 32, the Arsenal. Have a home tie, courtesy of Kevin Phillips. We'll play whoa, 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 whoa. we've got to build it up. We'll play <laughs> number one. Number one, so, AFC um. Wimbledon will head to Arsenal. Number 20. Number 20 in the draw tonight. That is Sheffield United. we in action at the weekend. Yet to win four championship games this season. We'll play number 31. And Sheffield United will get their season, will they? Off to a start against Southampton. Tough tie for Sheffield United. Southampton coming to town. Number 12. And number 12 is Manchester City. The defending champions will play at home. Just a few balls left. Who are they going to face? Number 29. And they will play number 29, Wickham Wanderers. Wickham, <laughs> Gareth Ainsworth and co will head to Manchester City. Good old stir. Last yep, few in there. Here we go. Number 14. And number 14, that's Millwall. 3-1 winners over Cambridge United. Millwall will face... Number 10. Number 10. They'll take on Leicester City. Three times winners. Leicester City will head to Millwall. Not many left. Number 28. Number 28. Some more of those games tonight. Wolves. Winners in 74, 1980 as well. Who's off to Wolves? Number 24. Number 24. Tottenham Hotspur will head to Wolves. The Nuno Derby's on. Number four. And number four, that's Brighton. It should be. <laughs> One left. It's all right. You've done it right. Number 23. I don't know who's more relieved, you or Kevin Phillips. Number 23 is Swansea. Swansea will head to Brighton. Swansea winners in 2013. That completes the draw then for round three. I mean, before we get to the actual draws, all right? Are we confident, happy with that? Yeah. I'm glad it's over. <laughs> <laughs> you genuinely were worried. A couple of those ties then, if we'll give you a confirmation of those ties for round three. Queen's Park Rangers face Everton. Preston, Cheltenham, Manchester United, West Ham United, Fulham Leeds, Brentford Oldham, Watford Stoke, Chelsea Aston Villa and Wigan Sunderland. A reminder, these are played week commencing September the 20th. We're looking at who Arsenal would pull out. They will face AFC Wimbledon. Manchester City against Wickham Wanderers in there. Wolves, Tottenham Hotspur. Uh, Kevin Phillips, inevitable that that will all be about Nuno, that Wolves Spurs game. Yeah, of course it will. You know, that would be, be a tough match. Um, you know, in all Premier League. There's quite a few Premier League fixtures in there, isn't there? So some exciting games to look forward to. Kev, tough game for Wickham in there as well. And AFC Wimbledon heading to Arsenal. Yeah, great, great ties for the for the so-called minnows of of league football. But you go to the big clubs and you want to upset them, so that's that's their opportunity. Has your watch just gone off telling you to breathe? It probably <laughs> needs to. I'll let you have a breather, and we'll hear from Mikel Arteta. Through to that round, we've already heard that Arsenal will face AFC Wimbledon. This interview was done before the draw, but we can hear from Mikel Arteta with Guy Havard. Mikel, the biggest win of your managerial career. How satisfying was that tonight? 
Yeah, it's really good. It's always a tough place to come here midweek. Um, they are a good side. I know they made some changes. We made some changes, but to score six away from home and keep a clean sheet, which we needed as well. So overall, really happy. What pleased you the most tonight? The attitude that the team had right from the beginning, right from the warm-up, the way they've been working, the togetherness that there is around the team. We're all disappointed that we haven't won any of the two games uh, in the Premier League, but um, the attitude of the players and, and how together they are. Not the hardest game you're going to play this season, obviously, but what does it give you, that first win? Uh, winning, when you lose, the most important thing is to win the next match as, as, as quick as possible, win, uh, get some confidence, get a clean sheet, they score some good goals. Um, players that needed goals as well, players that needed minutes, so in general, very positive night. Obama Yang in particular started the game really sharp in front of goal tonight. He did really start it since he's come from COVID. Uh, he looks sharp, obviously. It's the first uh, minutes that he plays um, with the other night, so he needs some rhythm and, and physically he's not at his best yet, but uh, he looked good tonight. He's such a wonderful finisher. Might we see more of him down the middle this season? Well, he's played outside, he can play inside. It would depend on, on, on the plan on the game, the players that we have available, if we have to play with two strikers, it would depend. New signings, Odegaard and Ramsdale, how did they fare tonight? Very good, I think, both of them. I think Martin gives us something different on the ball that uh, we don't have with any other player in the team. And, uh, and Aaron looked very comfortable. He's, he's a big personality and he looks really comfortable in goal. Is that the end of the, the spending, do you think, this window? I don't know what would happen. It's still a few days to go. Uh, we have some exits as well planned, uh, so we will see. Can you talk about those exits? We saw a couple of players like Kalasinac and Maitland-Niles who, the speculation about their future, will they still be here next yes, week? Yes, as you said, this is speculation. While, while they are here, we try to treat everybody as good as we can, give them minutes. Uh, they had incredible attitude, so the only thing we can get is when we can reward them with minutes because they deserve that. Wonderful win tonight, but arguably the toughest game to come at the weekend of the whole season, away at the Champions. Absolutely. We know what we're going to face at the weekend. It's going to be a completely different game. Get ready physically and mentally from tonight and, and go for it. Well done tonight. Thank you.